Welcome back. I wanted to shoot a follow-up video for episode 48, which was the episode that I reviewed this USB endoscope in, which is actually my most popular video, believe it or not. Um, at the time of this particular recording, which today is uh, May 25th, 2016, uh, I'm at 8,800 views, which blows my mind that that's my most popular video. But anyway, since it is my most popular video, you can imagine I have quite a bit of comments and questions and so on and so forth about this particular product. And I figured, you know, here it is, you know, several months later, that was actually back in January. I figured it's time to uh, do a little follow up and answer some of those questions since I've, uh, you know, I already answered them in the comments, but I figured I would do a video. Uh, let's see. I'm going to just scroll through the video here in the background and see what we have. The most recent comment was asking me how to set up the app for this particular device. Um, I mentioned in the prior video not to use the APK file that came with the disk because every time I ran the program on my computer it came up as being a virus or having malware on it. Um, it did trip both my virus software and my anti-malware, in other words. So I decided not to do it and I downloaded a piece of software for my computer and I downloaded another piece of software for my Android phone which is part of the subject of this video. Uh, it was just a quick search on Google um, under the terms USB webcam software or universal software or something along those lines that got me the software for the computer. Unfortunately I don't have video capture software for the computer yet. That's something I am still working on. One day I will have it and when I do maybe I'll have another video set up on how to do it for the PC but um, right now I'm just going to show you the Android. So what I have in the background here is my Android phone. I'm going to just go ahead and log into that. Now I don't have an Android phone I should say. I have an Android tablet but the process is going to be similar. And we're going to go in here to the Google Play Store, which I should have on my background here. And you might go into a variety of different places to get to that, but um, you ultimately need to get into the Google Play Store. And we're going to look for an app called Camerify. You just kind of saw it may have came up at the top here. Do you mean Camerify? Camera file, yeah, that's what I thought I typed. And here it is. Um, the one's an ad for it, one's the regular one. We're just going to go into that one here. And Camera file, USB camera webcam. And this will allow you to plug, I pretty much think, any webcam uh, that's USB based into your device, provided that you have um, one of those USB OTG cables or your device is. OTG compatible because that's what this device here has. So we're going to go ahead and install that. Um, yeah, you get this standard thing. Um, quick little note about this. Let me actually shut this light off so I don't get that glare. Quick, quick, quick little note about this thing here. Um, when it asks to access your in-app purchases and identity and camera, microphone, all that, People think, oh, it has access to my camera. It can spy on me. It why does it need access to my identity? Why does this, why does that? All these things are features built within the device. So obviously, or the software. So obviously camera, it has to access your camera because it's a device for using the camera. Like that makes perfect sense. You know, people say like Messenger, um, like they installed Messenger on their computer or their, their d device and they had to ans you know, accept all these different things. Of course you did because it needs to access all that. If you're doing video messaging, it needs access to your camera. If uh, you know your contacts list, that's where it gets the names for the Messenger. So it's, don't freak out when you see this, it's okay. Sorry for the little rant. So anyway, that's gonna go ahead and download. It's uh, 9.63 megabytes, so it's gonna take a little while. Um, if you want to go ahead when you have this going you can just read through and obviously you can see there's a variety of different apps. So while that's installing I'm going to go look at another question. Um, as you see it's actually done already but the, another question I had was um, can you use this with the Windows Surface? Not sure. It's a Android PC device if you can download uh, an app through the App Store on Windows and try it that way Maybe possible. Uh, I have Windows 10 which I understand apps are similar between Windows 10 and Surface and whatnot 
I haven't tried it. Uh, I just have the regular app downloaded. Uh, the, the program, not an app, I'm sorry. So as far as the Surface, I'm not really sure. That's some, one thing I'll have to find out. Um, I do have people posting comments on there about where you can buy it for cheaper. Hey, that's great. Uh, I don't have any affiliation with any of the links to, that I have set up on my sites. I'm not making any money on any of that stuff. So feel free to f certainly buy it wherever you can for whatever price you can. Um, there's a lot of people saying it doesn't work with their phone, the Alcatel One Touch or other Alcatel devices. Um, I'm not sure I don't have one of those devices. You have to make sure your phone or tablet is, you know, wireless USB that uh, uh, USB OTG. I should say it has to be USB OTG compatible, and you know that's kind of ambiguous. It could be just compatible with uh, SD cards. It could be compatible with cameras and cards. You know, you really, it's it, you really don't know. Um, the only way to find out if it works exactly for your device is just you know again search on Google, look for your particular device, uh, search under the name, search for terms, you know, does it work with USB camera? Uh, you get the idea. Now, see, some people ask if they can use it for motorcycle usage, uh, making motorcycle videos. I'm thinking maybe they want to mount their phone someplace and, you know, have the camera mounted facing outward. Hey, it's possible. Um, it does focus out to infinity, uh, although at a certain distance it doesn't look that great. It's better for close-up stuff or like it's meant for passing down in the pipes or uh, stuff like that. So, you know, it, it may work. Um, I don't know. You could certainly try it. It's it's cheap enough and I think that's what he's going to do. Um, again, more people with the app. I'm just going to explain that already. Uh, yeah, and that looks like that's pretty much it that I have up there now for comments. Um, if there's any more, leave them in the, this video and I'll answer them, of course. But anyway, this is done. I'm going to slide that off camera for a second just so I could put my password in. And come back and here we are back to the screen. We're going to hit open. And once this comes up, it should take a second here. That's kind of switched sideways here, so excuse me one second. I'm sure it can uh, flip. I don't really remember. Now there's a little thing at the bottom, don't show this again. Of course, this was a free program, so you're going to get ads in it. All right, it flipped. Now this is showing you to plug the camera into the tablet, obviously, which we're going to do right now. And as I mentioned, this is the Android connector on here. And this is just the micro USB. And there's actually a micro USB to standard USB adapter in the box. So if you're doing this on PC, you would need this. Or if your device doesn't have this type of USB connection and you do have the uh, OTG cable, which would convert your plug to the opposite of this, essentially, you could actually plug this in here plug this into the OTG converter and then plug that into your device, so that would work. But PC and Android are the only devices this particular one was made for. But once we have the app here, uh, I actually forgot to plug this in. Dirt. It comes up with this little message, which I'll just zoom in on. It says Oprah Camera Fi app when this de USB device is connected. And if you click this little box and hit OK, every time you connect this camera, it automatically opens this app up, which is great. If I zoom out, we can see hopefully something. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure what happened. I just ended up shutting the app down and opening it back up. And as soon as I did that, I got the image from the camera. And uh, I have the magnet attachment on here now, as you can see. It's in the center there. Here I am. And uh, yeah, that was basically all you had to do. It's a pretty simple app to install. It just has a little hiccup. Uh, when you, uh, but by the way, when you hit the arrow to go back, it asks you to hit it again to exit. So if you do that twice, you'll exit the app. And of course, it just puts the standard 
icon on there. Now I'm just going to show you if you disconnect the camera and plug it back in, it should automatically open since we set that setting. See? And I think it's going to come up with an ad too, again. Now you can purchase this if you want and the ad will be removed. Um, I think there's also a watermark at the bottom here, which you can faintly see. That also gets removed at a certain price. Other than that, um, there wasn't really anything else I had to uh, point out. I mean, this is the only app I've ever used with it, and it seems like it works fine, other than the little hiccup that we just had. And uh, I did see uh, a gentleman by who also, his name is Chris, his channel's called Chris Fix. He does car videos and stuff. He actually had a really interesting video where he used one of these cameras to inspect inside of the head of a lawnmower and is also his personal vehicle. And I thought that was pretty neat because what he did was is he took the cylinder head and I'm just going to use a paper towel roll as an example. And he passed it down there and looked at the top of the piston head with that scope and saw that there was a lot of carbon buildup and whatnot and uh, pulled it back out and he did that through the uh, ignition tube where the you know spark plug sits and uh, went you know I guess on his own time he went into each individual little uh, cylinder and then what he did was he, he used a sea foam and sprayed the whole intake system and I'll put a link in the description down below of his video but anyway when he got done he passed the camera back down here to see how much carbon was removed and i thought that was really a neat idea so that's definitely one application uh and answer the the motorcycle question i'll flip this around you can see the rest of my lab over here it it will kind of focus out to infinity so i guess you could use this for something like that as a little covert camera um but either way you know, you could do it any way you want. It just depends on what your application is. Obviously, if you don't have the magnet sitting out the end over here, you could see a lot more stuff. Um, finding which side is up and down, that's kind of the pain in the butt part about this thing. I can say that much. Pretty much you can look at it where the pole is on top, but not exactly quite on top. Because if you look at the camera, it's over here to the side as opposed to being right in the middle. So there's definitely a difference there between the, you know, the two. But yeah, it's a it's a neat device. I recommend anyone getting it for their toolbox. It definitely has its uses. And uh, well, that's all I really have for this. Thanks for watching.